Hi everyone, welcome to Advice to Think Twice and welcome to our daily reading. Let's have a look and see what's going on first at the time you watch this reading, what the day is about. And remember, these are timeless, so whenever you come across the video, that's when it's meant for you to find. Keep enough in mind, take things as they resonate with you. And thank you all very much for all your support. King of Wands, Knight of Swords. Well, someone's preparing to take some sort of decisive action towards you. You caught someone's eye. And that could be with work and being recruited or scouted. It could be with your business. I also get like the arts. If you're um, an artist of some sort, you caught someone's eye. Um, could also be love life. Let's see if it comes back out in the reading. If not, it could just be a side message for you, okay? But yeah, you can expect swift, decisive, like they want you. King of Wands with the Knight of Swords is like no is not in their vocabulary. <laughs> that's that's the offer they're making is really good, but I'm just saying, right? Alright, let's see. What's going on today? What's the day about energy and advice for the day for my subscribers? Okay. Get one of these oracle energy and advice for the day for that's too many my subscribers hold on oracle energy and advice for the day for my subscribers what is the day about okay well that's that one cool all right let's see okay so First card representing the influence of the past on our current situation, what has happened before, or the first part of the day, the early part of the day, as it is that we're coming into the day, what's going on. Oh, here he is, <laughs> Knight of Swords. So it could happen very early in the day, or shortly after you watch this video, if it's not, depending on what time of day you find this video, right? Shortly after you watch this video, if it hasn't happened already, there's this talks about swift action, determined action. Um, they could also I don't know unnecessarily that it is impulsive, but it may appear to be impulsive because it's so out of the blue and so determined. And I feel like for if it's directed at you, you're sitting there thinking, you don't really know me that well. How can you be so sure, right? Or you're not really familiar with what I do, not in depth anyway. So how can you be so sure that, you know, you know exactly what it is I do and you know exactly who I am or what I could do for you? You know, that kind of puts you on the back for a little bit, right? Or this could be you where you just went for something okay you just went for it now you might have done a lot of overthinking about it and a lot of back and forth but when you take that action to other people it may appear like you know you really haven't thought this through are you sure this is what you want to do that's the energy that I'm getting here and today's energy the three of wands if you have taken action towards something determined focused action you're waiting to see results now with the three of wands this tells you you're about to see something come in um, at this time now it can be three I heard 30 minutes or three hours or three days from when it is that you're watching this video. Uh, whatever it is you asked for, applied for, went for is arriving to you. Okay, I feel like for some of you, something is uh, en route to you at this time. Um, however, that resonates. For those of you, this is planning a get together, planning a meeting at this time. Let's talk about this. You know, let's talk about the details. For some of you are planning a trip, where things are going to go, we have the High Priestess. Gaining more information or taking a step back to contemplate. Um, yeah, I feel like for some of you, you really shot your shot, okay? You just went for it. Now, someone might have said, I need more information, or someone, again, was like, I'm not sure you know what you're saying. I'm not sure you know what you're asking for. Um... Let me think about it, okay, with the Three of Wands, I don't know. And then with the High Priestess, someone's really going into contemplation mode or review mode. Um, okay, or it could be there's a follow-up conversation or a follow-up meeting at this time about whatever this apparently impulsive action was or application or just going for something. And then, then once they have more information as a result of this follow-up, then they go, okay, let me really think about this. Let me really contemplate here because um, there is more behind this. It's not impulsive, right? It is valid. It is valuable. It is 
deserving of further thought, I feel. And for others of you, this is someone coming your way, determined, maybe from a bit of a distance, maybe some travel is involved, or they're sending you something, um, and it's just so out of the blue. And I, I just get this feeling of the initial reaction or the initial response is to either dismiss it or to say, you know, I don't know, this must be a mistake or to say they don't know what they're saying or, you know, they must be confused or something. Um, but I feel like with the, the, the confidence of this person or the determination behind this action really makes someone take a second look, okay? And that could be that follow-up. Let's see what the oracle energy is here. We have go to distance, 47. This is pursuing energy. Someone's in pursuit, okay? Something is either en route to you, um, whether you're waiting for paperwork or you're waiting for delivery or you're waiting for a person to come home, I don't know, or something to come through for you. But something is in process, in progress, or en route to you. Um, for others of you, this is pursuing energy. And again, we have this swiftness. We have this, I see what I want. I'm going for it. I'm not taking no for an answer. Okay. And it is something that could go to distance. Okay. Um, and again, I, like, like I said, with the Knight of Swords and the Three of Wands, you're about to see some sort of arrival. You're about to see some sort of result. Because he's reaching that, that finish line. Okay, and you're seeing things, things are starting to come into your line of sight. Um, whether that means you're getting a message of confirmation that, yeah, it's just, it's coming, it's on its way to you, should be there any minute, or um, it's arriving, right? For some of you, this could be uh, the missing piece, the last piece of the puzzle, the missing piece of information. Um, the last thing you need to reach the finish line in a situation, okay? Whether that means making a decision and that's the process, or it's a, something you've actually been working towards, or it's a goal, or it's a task, or it's a project, a plan of some sort. Um, but yeah, something's arriving. Something is arriving fast. There's an unexpected element to it, or there's a, are you sure this is right element to it? Why are you so focused? Why are you so determined? What do you see that I don't see? Right? Something along those lines. Okay, are you sure? And then it, it leads someone to a place of contemplation with the high priestess or just intrigue. Like, tell me more about it. Why are you so sure? Like, what's going on here? Let me review this. Let me make sure you got the right information. Fortune cookie for the day future you may travel or host an overseas traveler soon either way great social fun away it's something's coming to you someone something um this could be again there's this unexpected unknown there's something unknown about it or there's something unexpected about it or distance is a factor or you might perceive this to be as uh something superficial or shallow or again not quite right i don't know i'm not going to look at it too much but the, the determination behind this makes you take a second look, makes you go, okay, tell me more about it. Okay, and then we have health, an excellent time to start an exercise program or diet, make new friendships, sorry, many new friendships are on the horizon. And again, we have the element of the horizon, something coming in, you're about to see something, receive something, have someone come at you with some sort of proposition, but it's like, they're so confident, they're so determined. And almost like their the, their confidence kind of rubs off on rubs off on you a little bit. You know? It, this could be something you're not quite sure about. There's someone's coming to you to propose something to you and you're not quite sure how you feel about it. But you know that when when someone's so excited about something and they believe in something so strongly that it gets you all inspired as well, that could be what's going on here as well. Okay, so a number of different scenarios, but it's all good energy. So tell me what this is for you, okay? When you know, because for a lot of you, you don't see this coming. Um, but it could be to do with that thing that you've been working on and trying to get to that finish line. So that could be a clue for some of you, right? But yeah, let me know what this is. It's great stuff. It's great stuff. Um, I just feel like you're going to be a little bit taken aback, or whoever this is, flip the roles as they go. But someone's coming in so confident and so determined that it's just going to put the other person on the back foot like 
are you sure like how can you be so sure i don't know that you've had time to research this enough like i don't where is this coming from right but they're really following their intuition or they have access to information that you don't know about or you know there's they mean it because this is something that can go to distance and that's where that assuredness and confidence comes from you just don't know what they know at the minute okay and if this is you trust your own guidance trust your own information you have access to things people don't have access to and that could be a perspective or your own intuition or spiritual guidance other people can't see it or receive it right but you know so use it trust it go the distance with it see something through because trust me other people will be inspired by you first they'll be like i don't know what what you're doing i don't think i think you know you're a little out there or i don't know but the more confident and the more determined and the more you stand for this it gets them interested it gets them intrigued and then it gets them inspired and then they go yeah okay let's do it let's i don't know man i want to see what this is now right that sort of thing so that is what I have for us today. Hope this helps. Let me know. Have a great day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.